Hello everybody. I want to share with you today something that I got. I got a little bit of stuff at Hobby Lobby. Now I don't have a Hobby Lobby close to me so I was up <clears throat> I was up um, traveling a little bit and I went into the one that the only one that's anywhere near me really and although we're getting a Hobby Lobby this spring in my town I'm so excited that could be very bad for my wallet but anyway so anyway, I went to Hobby Lobby and I wanted to show you what I found. Now, this is an old collection, but it is the Simple Stories Frankie and Friends collection kit and it was only five bucks. You know, I'm not a big Halloween scrapper. Um, I just, you know, I mean, I'm not, that's not my favorite holiday or anything, but for five bucks, I almost bought two. <laughs> I have some Halloween stuff already, but this is really cute. Simple Stories is one of my absolute, if not my favorite, scrapbook company. So, anyway, I went ahead and got it. And I also got this. Again, not new, but this is the Daily Grind Snap Pack. Um, it was in the clearance area for 6 bucks. So, and I know that I can get it cheaper. I've seen it online for $4.99, but... Once you factor in shipping, I guess it's kind of a wash. So I got it. And it's got all kinds of fun cards and die cuts and things like that. So I got that because that was cute. And like I don't have enough alphabets, but these were so awesome. I loved these. Now they were $7.99, so I better love them. But look at these are Amy Tangerine. American craft stickers. There's eight pages of letters in here and look at how many you know A's and all the stuff that you get. It's crazy. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? I love it. There's a lot of different ones in there. And numbers. I just thought it was really cool and they have like, I don't know if you can you see that? They've got like a little sketch pattern on them. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe on the blue ones up here. But anyway, I thought these were really cute and I really liked them, so I got those. And I think I'm the only crafter on the planet who doesn't have any VersaFine in Onyx Black, so I got that. Nothing exciting there. Um, I got I have my I have a Happy Planner, which I love. And I found these in the clearance section for six bucks. I'm like, oh, okay, that's weird because they're like new. They're the pockets. So why are they in the clearance section? Um, and they're really not that much cheaper than regular price, but I got them anyway. And they did have them for regular price in the store as well, but these, um, hey, if I can pay a dollar less, I'll pay a dollar less. So I got these, the pocket folders, which I thought were really cute. And there's six of them in there. And I did count, but, you know, my son's going to mess with my light now. <laughs> And I also got these, one of the newer sets, I think, of the stickers for the Happy Planner. These are really cute. They have a whole bunch of different stickers on there. And I really like to use those. I use stamps too, but I like stickers better because, let's face it, it's easier. And for the Happy Planner, I also got one of the new packages of the washi tape. And it's got the black stripes and the floral and some skinny black and white with polka dots and hearts. I just thought that was really fun and I really like that. So I got that. And because I like the skinny washi because the Happy Planner has those um, areas above each box that, you know, it's perfect for skinny washi. So I got these, this package of five skinny washi tapes. And last but not least, I got some Prismacolor pencils to try out because I have been, I did the Kathy Rack 30 day coloring challenge. I did, I didn't do it for all 30 days. I tried, but I just couldn't, couldn't make it. But anyway, I was started off using a set of my kids, really cheap, crappy colored pencils. And I really enjoyed the coloring, but I really hated the pencils. So I started doing a ton and ton, a ton of research. And Prismacolor seems to be the brand that a lot of the crafters use. However, they get really, really, really poor reviews sometimes too. Like the leads break a lot or they're not centered and 
you end up sharpening them, they don't keep a fine tip, they're not good for small areas because of that. So anyway, I ended up getting some Faber-Castells. Um, I got I bought these set of 60 polychromos and I've been using these and I do like them a lot but I wanted to try I wanted to try the Prismacolors so because Hobby Lobby sells them open stock I was able to grab three in three different shades I've got what is that cerulean blue what is that yes light cerulean blue ultramarine and cloud blue so I thought I would give those a shot and see how I like them and see if they compare you know how they compare to the polychromo so I'll let you know about that I guess but you know for now I really do like the polychromos a lot and I am by no means an artist or anything else I just I really enjoyed coloring and I wanted to have a better variety and I got a really good deal on these and I really like them so anyway so that is what I got from Hobby Lobby this I got the polychromos I got from Amazon um, this is what I got from Hobby Lobby sorry about the glare there and I will see you in the next video hope you guys are finding some great stuff thanks bye